hello, hello. This is Tom from Tom and Ruth Philippine Adventures. You know, how, how nice I look, we don't know. I look horrible. But Ruth is going to turn me into a champion. Okay. Uh, Ruth is funny, uh, I have to tell you. She goes like this. That means stop. <laughs> she makes me laugh. I can't help it. This, we got something in the mail today. We needed this. We've been waiting for this. This reason this hair is so long. Because the other ones, Ruth is cutting like this, like this, like this. And they fell apart and broke in her hands. I know that this is perfect because we bought these from China. Anything you buy from China, it's 110%. So no worries here. Just like the other scissors we bought. When you put those scissors on, you know you're going to get a perfect haircut. Right. So here we go. Here is the scissors we got. We paid uh, 12 bucks for these. Now you would say, well, no wonder they broke apart on it. It's 12 bucks. But this is the quality <laughs> product. 5,000 other people said they bought these. 5,000. So... I don't know if they cut their hair or if they're bald or what, but uh, we're going to find out today, uh, these scissors. So as Ruth says, uh, go get the scissors, I'm going to cut your hair because you are looking pretty rough. So here we go. This, I don't know, it is supposedly, well, it feels stainless steel. It doesn't, see, it says perfect, made in China, and it's going to be 100% perfect. <laughs> you still, are you still doing Oh. I thought you stopped. I, you didn't do this, so I, I know I got to keep going. Um, anyway, they gave us a handy dandy comb. Does anybody ever know what this thing is? I want somebody to tell me what this it's is. It's what for? I don't know what that's for. I want someone, one of my subscribers, tell me what this is. We always get one of those at every scissor thing. Pendant? I I don't know what it does. It's a pendant? Yeah, it's a pendant. Or, or uh, does it? Or No, it's, I think, I don't know if... I don't know what that is, but anyway, we got that, and we get one in every one of these I don't kits. know what... They don't sharpen, that's for sure. It's, uh, But one of my subscribers would gladly know. I have, I'm have. i going to talk to Johnny the Barber. He knows, uh, but uh, he watches the videos. So, Johnny, if you're on here, let me know what this thing is. Or is it just something, you frisbee, or what is it? Show it yeah. first. What is that? It's the same on both sides. Anyway, there you go. So I will cut my daddy's hair. All right, she's going to cut my hair now. So when she's done, we're going to do a video real quick. Look, it even tells you how to open them up and cut with it. Ruth says for me to do this for like one minute. Why is it so zoomed in? You got it zoomed in? No? I don't know. I don't know. Let's do it. No, that's normal. That's it's normal. Not, it's not true. Okay, well, I got to hold my arm way out here. But anyway, she's going to do this and I will give me a haircut, give me updates. I will always use the water. Yeah, water. Uh, uh, you know what? The, the ladies in the U.S. did the same thing. But I would, there is a gap spray. Yeah. I, I would pay um, 12 bucks for my haircut in uh, uh, DeLand, Florida or Daytona Beach, Florida. And uh, it was usually a pretty good haircut. Uh, but they, you know, they were quick. They churn and burn. It was uh, in the chair, ten minutes tops, fifteen minutes tops, and that included doing a beard and stuff. But here in the Philippines, they give you a haircut and they give you a massage at the same time, and you get a full shave. So a little different, and it costs you a dollar or less. But I always <coughs> tip them. I tip them pretty good, you know, a couple of bucks. And the Filipino, uh, you know, they don't make much a day there. So yeah, there you go. All right, so we're going to give you guys updates on this. This my arm is uh, this phone's heavy. Okay, we'll give you updates as we go along. All right, phase two. So we're in, we're, we got the first step now, second step, and then we'll go to third step. So this is just an update. Okay, updates. So you can see it's updates so far. Uh, we ran out of color. I just told her use shoe polish. So uh, no shoe polish allowed. So what we'll do is, is um, we'll give an update and do another video on something uh, when we finish it up. But she did a good job. So I want to thank everybody for always watching our videos. And thank you for always coming on. God bless everybody. And we'll see you next time.
One thing about it, you get a hair cut by Ruth, it's perfect. There's not one hair left uh, done right. It's perfect. She's a good stylist. 